Hey, what's up, YouTube? I just put my rose toy away. As you can tell, I have like no clothes on. Shh. We're all grown here, right? <laughs> so, guys, I guess I just. <laughs> I want to go smoke some weed. But I really want to do this video too. But I can't show y'all everything because then y'all see too much. <laughs> and then, I don't know, stalkers or something like that. Then we'll have a problem. I'll be killing them. <laughs> yeah, don't, <coughs> don't, don't, come to, don't fucking come searching for me, bitch. But. Oh, shit. I just dropped my charger. Day of my life. I'm in my messy ass room. My room is a mess. I just made some alcoholic beverage, literally with some four locos, some margaritas, and um some 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 other shit I got. And I mix it up with the vitamin water and some pink lemonade, and I'm getting drunk, 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 drunk. Um. I don't even know what to title this video as because literally I do a lot of things. So it's like, damn, what do I say? Day of my life as this, day of the life as that, day of the life as this, or day of the life as that. I don't even know. But I do like documentary, document, blah, 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 documenting my life, I guess. Because here, look at this now. Like I've been doing YouTube for almost 12 years. I've had over 25 channels all with videos on there and stuff like that and like literally i don't think i ever documented at least to this point where i have anything to show for it and i came up with this idea i literally i literally came up with this idea less yesterday yesterday night to get back on my documentary stuff but like actually just you know keep my channel and don't lose it because literally people always i mean especially from back when i was in <gasps> excuse me especially from back when i was in school people always used to like sleep on being photogenic i mean you don't have to be photogenic it doesn't really matter i mean sometimes our best photos are not when we're trying to look like anything but just the random capture moments sometimes it could be a off guard it could be a selfie whatever so i'm not really worried about that but I've always been that girl who took pictures and my friends just couldn't like stand it. I mean, my friends at the time, they just couldn't stand it. And now when they look back at things, well, okay. So for me, my Snapchat is deleted, which was like that had my whole entire life in there. But, you know, they would look back sometimes like since it's been over seven years. Like, damn, I have really nothing to show for it. And I'm like, yeah, see, you really do have nothing to show for it because you never really thought anything was important. Whether if it's your family that dies, your grandmother that dies, pictures, moments, um, um, what do you call those? Um, memories, whatever, are like the best and um resourceful things ever especially when that might be all you have one day to remember something or somebody or the best moments of your life and i seen it as something that i'm okay with publicly i'm okay with publicly documenting my life even though there's probably some things that i don't really want on the internet so i might private some videos or unlist them or whatever or sell it like an author like a book or something since I guess my life would be more interesting than a lot of other people because it is not me. I don't think I said anything wrong there. Yeah, they just not me. I, I said it right. I said enough. But um documenting your life is something that's really good, whether you want to keep it private or public. I know that I wanna have something to show for even though i don't have anything from my teenage years back when i was a kid except for a few things like music and it's all through other people on youtube i can always start over and and get the best that i can at 22 years old for the future for maybe when i'm like 50 years old or something like that 
and YouTube probably will still be around when we're like 50. I mean, I'm a 2001 baby, so yeah, I'm gonna leave that there. So now that I am, oh gosh, I thought I showed a tit, then I'll have to edit the video. That would literally make me scream. I hate editing. I just don't, I just don't like that shit anymore. I mean, don't got the joy for it, nothing. See, I wanna see my outfit. <laughs> this is what I'm wearing, some shorts. That make that booty work, 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 ah, work, 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 ah, so cute. Yes, girl, got my booty shorts on. I don't even know if I got panties on. Oh, yeah, I do got panties on. Today, I got panties on, guys. I be trying to let that coochie breathe. Bend that ass over. Hands on your knees. Hands on your knees. Hands on your knees. I drink that for drink. <laughs> so i got a few job applications to do today because i've been trying to avoid them for a minute but listen i just re-upped on weed and if i run out of these two containers before i get some more money in my pocket i know i'm not gonna do them job applications and i gotta pick up some some extra shifts some money asap no rocky Hell, I haven't even attended to my business yet. I just opened up a new source of income to fund my business. Because I got tired of saying, I'm going to get on my business. And I just like leave it alone. Or I just find every reason since I'm lazy to not attend to it. But I don't attend to it unless I'm going to give it my all. So... I haven't even been bothering. All my stock is put up somewhere. And once I am on it, I will be completely on it, though. It's not a joke. Nothing to play with at all. Clock that tea. But there is a lot of things I got to get on. Found a way to finally fund my business. I gotta get these jobs so I can have a source of income for my hygiene. Cause I'm just tired of being a mess. Y'all don't even know how ugly I be feeling sometimes based on how people treat me. And even though my money is getting up, like when I go out in public and stuff like that, I don't know. I just wanna be put up a certain way. So that need to be funded somehow, some way. Somebody keep me right, get me right. Cause I'm starting to blow up. And the music listeners are kind of cutthroat. They want you to keep upgrading and investing in yourself and having looks to pull off and everything that you do. So I guess if you want to be a celebrity, you got to stay ready. So you don't got to always be getting ready. And I just got to attend to that so I look more put together, especially as a business owner and uh, um, all this stuff that I do. That I does. Even though I don't see why people don't just take it for what the hell I am and is. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I did not have any coffee today. And I literally am obsessed with coffee. Love it. Love me some coffee. Can't get enough of coffee. I have been on cam for a little bit today. Um, I uploaded some videos on the Hubsies. I did one YouTube video. Gosh, why do I look like some granny boots like that? Because I don't really put, you know, all that stuff on that women do. So, it's giving body yaddy yaddy instead of class, class, class. Well, a little bit of size. I might take out these braids today just so I could feel what it's like to have natural hair again. But damn, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with my hair. If I, um, if I get up and take it out and have to redo it or don't like the length. Or do a style that I have to sleep on and then it messes up all over again. 
or it gets too kinky and I don't want to deal with it no more. So, I'm kind of motivated to keep these dirty ass, old ass braids in. They ain't too bad. Just lay the edges still. <laughs> Look, oh, but baby, I do my thing. I do what it does and it does what it does when I'm around. So, I ain't really too tripping over that. I want to become a professional YouTuber all over again, but <clears throat> damn, I got a lot of work to do. I mean, a lot, a lot, a lot, <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. But my days literally are consistent of, because my schedule always changes within the years and stuff like that. Especially when I was working, working, then transitioning, whatever, whatever. Like, I'm really just getting back into a conventional way of living. So, my lifestyle and my schedule is going to evolve and change. It probably will get much more busier before it gets quieter again. Just since I'm on the, I'm on a mission. It could get lonely at the top. Fuck a friend of thing. Help you to set a and screw with a hater. <laughs> Why you at it? What you not? Song. I have not dropped that song, but it was so old that I had it up. If you knew about it, you know. I used to be popping it. But yeah, I think I might go smoke right now, get drunk tonight, and try to make a hit song. Come on, L Lucci, Lucci, free YFN Lucci, because that's the song right here. But um, I think I'm going to try to get really drunk and come out with some songs tonight. I mean, making hit songs is becoming much more easier for me. But I guess I've been reaching for, like, those outer human life experiences that I'm just not experiencing yet. So, I've been like, damn, like, how do I make this seem like I got more experience than I don't? And I hate thinking like that. So, I don't even stretch it. I just try to figure out my my way, my lane, my creative style, whatever mode's going to work for me in the meantime. Until we hit that next, well, at least I hit that next level. And being an artist and my artistry and all that stuff but um only fans there's there's something i gotta figure out about there because yeah i, I don't want to talk about it right now because there's something going on with this only fan stuff it's nothing bad bad don't get it twisted but it's something i'm really confused about and i really want to know because it would be making my life so much more easier if I knew how these YouTubers that are big with a business in their name and all these porn models and whoever, whoever, how they're getting content houses. Like, how do y'all afford that? And you only make like $500 a month sometimes. Like, you know, like there's just some stuff that I'm just like, so excited to learn about, but I really want to know about. But I'm like, girl, you got some work to do. So, yeah, um, I'm always switching work and industries and lanes. I have not been knowing what I wanted to do consistently for a while in life unless it was like music and be really rich and famous or well off or whatever. But like it's just been evolving. Like now I know what I want to do when I go back to school because I am in the process of going to school. So my schedule, like I said, is going to change again very soon. Then college to girl. I um, literally am trying my best to figure out, like, it's just, oh, my God. Like, how do I tell y'all everything? Like, literally, I'm like, I feel like I can become, like, the biggest YouTuber on the planet. And my lifestyle will literally change. I mean, like, everything about my lifestyle would change and all that. But, like, what if I don't? Like, and that's that backup. But the thing is, sometimes we get at points in life where we really have, like, only one choice and one option. So, while I'm here all the time, I'm like, damn, like, I should really pick up the camera more and stop thinking you have to be having this or be like that. Or you're, you're too lazy because you don't want to edit a reaction video, whatever, 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 like that is it for me y'all that is it for me like that is the sentence that's it for me i am mostly home if i'm not on the internet putting out stuff i am contemplating and stressing myself out on what makes me happy 
how to achieve bigger spaces in life, becoming a stable adult, because, whew, I don't know if I can handle this adult life out here, man. But, you know, finding happiness and then more importantly, having the resources and people I would need to, like, let's say, become a big YouTuber. If I want to become, like, a big YouTuber and have a family channel, I'm going to need a YouTube boyfriend, kids, you know, money for hospital bills, a house, like, all these stuff, like, and when you are coming from a place where you're attacking a lifestyle from needing people and not needing people... It kind of affects, like, it just affects you differently. So I just haven't been knowing what to do with myself, what to do, what makes me happy, soul searching, like, and even starting over my life. Because I have basically been very having it up to here with where my life's been, how much of things I've gone into in the past. I mean, how much of the past I've gone into and just rewriting my whole story so it can be a better ending but not only for me but for my family that's existing and my family to come but that's really it y'all i mean i be home day in my life is that i work very hard i'm constantly learning teaching myself new things um finding things that make me happy and trying to like rebirth myself reparent myself Remother myself, re-love myself. Like a lot of healing is going on, baby. Like a lot of it. And I'm thankful that like I have built up other sources of income to where I can kind of take a chill out for a little while and bills will still be paid and all that shit. And I still won't be like life won't hit kick me in the ass. But I'm also at a point where I'm like literally yearning for so much more in life. Like I, I feel like I just want it all. Like I just feel like I just want it all, like, but I don't know what else to document myself about, because I just feel like everything could be so boring, like, I don't know, bro, like, how do I relax? I need to learn how to relax and just do me. Ooh, sad. Ooh, sad. I'm already making myself paranoid, thinking people are going to hate me, and what if they like it? I mean, damn. I don't know, Brad. I, I I just wanted to talk. Brad? Brad, are you there? Brad? Brad! Brad? Oh, Brad. Thank you for listening, Brad. I hope you enjoy. Until next time, Brad. <laughs>